Road to CNBC Indonesia Awards 2024 Best Banking and Financial Services yang bertajuk Optimalisasi Kontribusi Sektor Jasa Keuangan dalam Membangun Ekonomi Indonesia bersama saya Dina Kurni. Dan saat ini sudah hadir secara langsung di studio CNBC Indonesia Presiden Director PT Bank Amal Indonesia TBK atau Amar Bank, Vishal Tulsian. Hi Vishal, how are you today? Hello Dina. It's nice to have you here again with us. Same, pleasure to be here. Yeah. So first of all, as one of the leading digital banks in Indonesia, what drives your commitment or Amar Bank commitment to supporting the MSME segment? So just a brief background that how Amar Bank came into existence and why do we exist? We primarily exist to serve the underserved and increase financial inclusion. And how do we do that? We have a philosophy which says technology must impact lives, must improve lives. So we leverage technology to reach out to this segment. And to answer your question, MSME in Indonesia is largely underserved. There is a large market and uh, they are lack of, uh, they don't have enough documents or they don't have the proper credit history yeah. because of which they cannot be served so easily by the traditional methods. It's only through technology uh, that we can reach them, we can service them, we can assess them. And that is what we have been doing uh, since 2014. Okay, so that's the Amar Bank contribution to MSME in general. So uh, how many MSME credit distributions have you made so far and how do you gauge the sentiment around expanding in this sector specifically? Right. Now, uh, this, the, just, just that uh, before coming to the numbers, you would know that there is a regulation in Indonesia which states that uh, a bank should allocate certain percentage of assets towards MSME. Mm. Now that is there around from 2016 and that number has been 20% at that time and since then it has increased to 30% now, that's the regulation. And we are maybe only one of the very few banks who are not only meeting this target but exceeding this target since 2016. So in 2016 also, we were disbursing to MSMEs more than 20%, and today it is uh, much more than 30%. In fact, it has crossed 50%. So that's, that's uh, what our MSME portfolio is. Total amount we have disbursed is more than 8 trillion. Mm, that's wonderful. So looking ahead, what is your target for MSME credit growth by the end of this year, 2024? 2024, we see uh, more than more than around just around 15 percent to be growing uh, in MSME itself. Okay, so uh, my next question is: What do you think is uh, the key to Amar Bank's success in con in the context of uh, digitalization? How has it helped you expand your customer base while keeping a healthy MSME credit portfolio? Right. Now there are various factors. Of course, one of the uh, big factors is good luck. Now, if I were to talk about the human factors. Uh, I would pick three, three factors out of many factors. One is customers, another is Amar Bank team, and third would be Amar Bank's technological superiority. And they are all three interconnected and tell you how. Yeah. Uh, so we're very thankful for our customers who have placed their trust in us and we've been able to service them. And there is the Amar Bank team comes into picture. Uh, so how do you, I mean, customer is in the center of any business. Yeah, what, what does Amar Bank team does differently? I won't be exaggerating in saying that this is the best team and any CEO or any company can dream of. What do they do is that they are very dedicated and a strong passion to help people. And for that, they would be understanding the customer needs, talking to them on a regular basis. After understanding their needs, they see that what is the problem, and that's where the comes the third part, technological superiority, which they will use to translate that need in a solution. 
they will collect data and uh, launch a product in a prototype format instead of a traditional method of a product approval for a long time and launching the full-fledged, fully cooked product. Uh, launch it to the customer, collect data, it's called experimentation, iterative, and accordingly keep improving them and launch uh, finally, uh, which meets the customer's problems. So that is the, that is the key reason that why we have been successful mm. uh, in this. Uh, the, the kind of kind of products which we have launched uh, while doing this, and just to give you an example that how it makes a difference. So we have to see that MSME uh, requirements and needs are different as compared to the ones who are already served. So they are underserved. What's the biggest difference? The biggest difference is they don't have collateral. They don't have uh, predictable cash flows. They don't have enough documents. And they don't plan it in advance like most of the corporates can mm. before coming to the back. So they would come it at the last moment. So they would need it very fast. Right? So they, that's something. And they don't have fully documented. So how you use technology to be able to service them? Then when they're using the uh, banking, uh, which is the other part, one is the borrowing, but the other part also which they need is uh, savings. Now, can a bank help them to save more? And that is where our AI technology comes in and enable them to save. And it is evidenced by the average amount of saving. So recently, Sinarma Securitas uh, launched, uh, published a report which stated that average savings in a digital bank per user is around 400,000 rupiah, mm. whereas for Amar Bank, that is three times larger. And that is there because we enable them to save. So our motto in that is save now, spend later. And we see that technology like AI can actually help them to save, so not only just borrow. And when they are borrowing, we are using technology to assess them. Then another example we are recently launched is there are different needs. So some have the need of uh, borrowing very fast, a small amount, like 30 million rupiah, and no collateral. So for that, we have a product called Tunaiku. But then there are MSMEs who would want larger amounts, like in a, they have an invoice or a purchase order. And for them, we have recently launched something called Amar Bank Business, a separate app. And they can use that to get much larger amounts. So these are just few examples wherein we listen to the customers very closely, mm. see what problem they are facing and how we can leverage technology to service them. Okay, so from your response, we can say that the biggest struggle that Amar Bank found uh, to support MSME segment is that most of them do, don't have the legal documents. Or do you see uh, any uh, main struggles that Amar Bank found to support the MSME segment? And how do you address the struggle? How do you solve the struggles that you found? So the challenge in terms of the difference between a served segment and an unserved segment is that their lives are different, so their behaviors are different. Mm. They do not have time to be able to organize their documents at one place. Mm. Sometimes the documents do not exist, and sometimes it's just the lack of organization, mm. that they have it somewhere. But while apply, applying for the loan, or, they don't have the documents handy, and they are just in the need of loan. Mm. Then the challenge which they face is their cash flow itself is unpredictable. They cannot predict that what will be their sales next week. Uh, on a daily basis, it is fluctuating quite a bit. Mm. So these are the unique challenges which MSME, a very small micro businesses face. Uh, so more than, the, uh, more than the challenge for us, we see it's a challenge for them. It's a struggle for MSMEs mm. and we, how we can help them. Uh, so we can understand with, uh, that what should be the prediction of cash flow. Uh, we won't be helping them if we use the traditional methods mm. of uh, just looking at the cash flow and forecast the cash flow in a traditional method and then do the credit assessment. So we have used various different data points uh, and then uh, do the risk assessment to be able to service them. So that's, that's the different approach. 
Okay. So in general, do you see, uh, do you uh, feel optimistic towards the MSME segment, specifically in Indonesia, let's say for five years or 10 years ahead in general, Vishal? Hugely, hugely optimistic. And why I would is say. that? Because the gap is so big. The gap is really big. Uh, and this is, Indonesia is a unique uh, in MSME. 60% plus around is contributed in GDP by MSMEs, but uh, in employment it is above 90%. Mm. Right? So, so that's the part which MSMEs plays. That means it's a hugely important. And they are not serviced. Most of them, there is only 20% of the MSMEs which are served. Mm. So we are looking at the 80% gap. Mm. Uh, so that's why we are hugely optimistic. And we can see that with our performance since 2016 to this segment, that we are able to understand this segment much better and are able to service them. And not only service them, but service them where it is meeting their needs. And also we are doing it at a cost efficient basis.